In today's video, guys, we are going to be seeing how quickly we can control Crete from the start of Kaidonia. Playing on very hard, very hard, of course, and extreme mode. Let's get on with the video. And here we go, guys. Very hard, very hard. And let's click that extreme mode button right away. Let's get going. So starting as Kaidonia, guys, we have a couple of challenges to start with. First of all, we do actually border Sparta over here. I know it looks like we don't, but that is to put in there to encourage the AI to do naval invasion. So we've got to just hope that the AI is not going to do anything stupid and come and invade our lands early on. There are currently 12 settlements on Crete. We own two, so we need to take 10 settlements, guys, with quite a large um, sort of rebel garrison over here in Arsinoe. That's going to be a little bit difficult to take, so we're going to leave that for last, and we are going to go after Knossos very first. So let's get on with that. Let's get our army out of here and let's go straight for Aptera. Of course, attack the neutral faction. No problem with that. We're going to get our... In fact, no. Let's uh, let's just stop that. Going to have to rely quite heavily on spies, etc. So let's uh, pop this in here. 50% chance. He did manage to get in without dying. That's good. <laughs> and he didn't open the gates. Once again, the spies doing fantastic work for us. Now, both of our settlements are actually pretty darn rich at the start of the game, which is fantastic. We can only keep this on high. If we're going to leave this undefended, we will have to leave it on normal. But we are going to get a military building straight away. In fact, no. We're going to recruit troops straight away. We're going to go straight for Cretan Hoplites. And then we're going to spend all of our money, actually, on troops. Let's cancel these guys. Let's get them in there which is fantastic and yeah we're going to be relying on exterminating and enslaving guys so i don't think we really need to worry about it too much so with everything done let's hope that the spartans don't come and attack us and let's end the turn there guys well, let's get into the first battle guys aptera is going to be ours it's only nine men defending it so uh don't think that's going to be too much of a problem so uh let's get in there guys and let's destroy the Nossians. Well, here we go, guys. Let's go straight into the city center. And we are just going for the charge. Don't really think we need to worry about this. We've got a monstrous amount of general's bodyguards. 40 and a 29. Pretty darn good. So this should be relatively easy. And there we go, guys. We did actually lose 10 men, which is a little bit annoying. But what can you do? And in order to salvage some of our money, we are going to go straight for an extermination. And we're also going to destroy this, of course, as we always do. That's brought us back into the positive. But uh, let's move on. Can we leave Aptera on its own? Yes, we can. Perfect. Well, let's get moving, guys. Looks like Gortin is going to leave everything as is. So let's see if the spy can get in there to Oaxos. Okay, he did get in there to Oaxos. I wonder if I send you around this way. Let's go there. Let's attack them. Yes, it is open. The gate is open. Well, that is fantastic. Thinking we send... So, 25 General's Bodyguard. So, I think we'll send these guys as well. And we shall just charge them. And then the rest of you guys can go on to Gorkit, Gortina. And get a ram. That would be very nice. And we will have taken those uh, settlements... In a couple of turns, which is going to be pretty fun. So let's go on to Oaxos again. It should be relatively easy. So this time we're actually going to try and do it properly and attack them from both sides. So I'm going to attack with those guys to start with. And then we're going to attack with our general rally the men. I've got a feeling that the general's there, but he's not. So it shouldn't be too difficult, but hopefully we can get a nice charge off on them with our own general's bodyguard, which will be pretty darn nice. So let's go. Smash into them, my friends. Smash into them. And there we go. I mean, that's not a charge, guys. I don't know what it is, but it's 100% not a charge. Can you, like, fucking attack, guys? <laughs> like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Terrible. You're just getting killed. Like, what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Well, we're going to lose a few men, but hopefully it shouldn't be too many. Let's see. Well, there we go, guys. We actually lost 14 men. Not too bad. Not too bad. So let's get back onto that campaign map. And I think we're going to go for the enslavement at Oaxos. I'm also going to leave 
the Zistaforoi in here for now, just because of Nosos themselves over there. Now bring the general across. How are we looking for happiness? We are looking fine. Let's pump that happiness up. It's rookie numbers, my friends. Rookie numbers. And that is... Time to get the spy out. Let's see if we can chain this, guys. So, um... We've also got that draw-out battle there. Don't know how I didn't spot that. That was a little bit dumb. But, you know what? Who cares? <laughs> no, we can't actually go in there this turn. Well, that's fine. We're going to come across this way anyway. In fact... We'll probably head into the Nossian capital next turn, but that's going to be fine. We're going to be able to get into this settlement next turn. It's going to be a little bit difficult to fight this, but I'm hoping we can maybe do a drawout battle if um, if we, uh, you know, do this. So let's see. Let's see, guys. Well, guys, I don't fancy our chances, in fact, in this siege battle because they have a lot of troops, as you can see. Pretty good troops as well. So instead of that... We are going to have a look for mercenaries. No mercenaries available. We're going to pop out of the siege here. So we're going to pop this way. We're going to go here, here, and here. And we are going to go for the draw out battle. Now, this is going to be a rather difficult battle, I've got to say. Um, yeah, they've got Agali. They've got Slingers. But their, their cavalry is pretty decent. They've got two Hippies, two Generals. So we're going to have to try and rush down this guy to start with. But... Uh, Let's see what we can do, guys. Let's go. Well, we're going to have to go and try and rush these guys down. I don't know where their other army is coming from. I'm assuming up here, honestly, because we can't actually see it at the moment. So, oh no, they're coming from over there. So maybe, instead of rushing those guys down, we should try to drive a bit of a wedge. Tell you what, though, no. L let's, uh, let's go for it. Let's get these guys in here. We'll also bring these guys up that way. And we're going to bring these guys up here too to hopefully fire at the Hippeis. I don't want to lose too many men to the Hippeis on this charge. But I'm hoping we don't. And maybe they won't fire at us because they're generals in the way. But it is the AI at the end of the day, guys, isn't it? It is the AI. So, um, unlikely. Looks like the Hippeis are going for the charge, actually. Let's try and attack them. I'm going to attack this general. We've absolutely shredded them. Let's go. There we go. Into the Hippies. Remember, we've got to kill all of these guys. So that's the real issue here. So once he's dead, though, we should be able to chase down these guys. Problem being, we need to kill them all pretty much. Okay. Now go after the Hippies. And I don't mind leaving those two generals guys behind. That's no problem at all. Uh, I mean, ultimately, if we fail at this, this won't be a problem because we're going to have plenty. Oh, go, 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 go. Turn, guys. Turn. Kill them. Kill them all. Okay, yes. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take them out there. A little bit annoying. Okay, these guys are actually firing at them. Okay, they didn't quite get over to them. Let's fire at the Greek general's bodyguard instead. If we can kill that general, that'll be fantastic. There we go. Good. Right. Well, that's good at least. Hippeus over here now. Let's come back. And see if we can defend our lines. Well, the Hippies came back from routing. So that is fantastic for us. Our hoplite should be able to hold on to this. I'm also getting these guys to fire over that way. And his general is now on this side, which is awesome. He has gone for the charge. So if we can take him out. He's not lost many men there, unfortunately for us. But let's go for the charge on him. Let's rally the men too. Unfortunately, our Kaidonian archers are getting a little bit battered. But, uh, oh, that's their king. That's their king. That is their king. Glorious. Well, we don't need to kill any more of them. So let's uh, ignore that for the second. These guys are coming back. So that's going to be something that is quite important for us, uh, in fact. So let's get out of here. Unfortunately, they've not routed, though, which is very strange. Uh, right then, you guys get up here. Let's see if we can kill the rest of this bodyguard. And we do pretty much have double the amount of men they have. So, shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go. And uh, you guys, I want you guys to actually now fire on them. I think we can deal with that Hippeus because it's in the fight. But surely we can break this guy. We've killed him. We've literally killed him. I honestly don't know how this guy is, like, staying in the fight. For God's sake. <laughs> this is ridiculous, bro. Kill him. Like, he's dead. The king is dead. But they are still managing to uh, absolutely savage us here, which is 
A little bit annoying, honestly. Come on. Well, this is just a bit of a mess now, but I'm just trying to try and take out as many men as we can while we're here. Look at the hoplites, though, chasing after us. It's just really annoying. <laughs> like, please just stop. Just stop chasing us. <laughs> like, they're faster than us at this point now as well. So I don't think we're going to do enough to take out this whole city, which is really disappointing. Honestly, the Zistaphore could have really helped here. But there we go. The Agalai are actually quite good, so we need to be careful. Look at that. They absolutely shredded us there. Get out now. Get out. Our generals are fucked, bro. Our generals are fucked. Here we go then, guys. One last ditch charge. Let's see whether it's possible. There we go. They, they turned around at the last moment again. Ah, oh, god damn it, AI. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, they're shaken now. So our six men hopefully are going to have a strong enough charge to do some damage. Unless they turn, which, god damn it, they've done it again. But at least we have broken them. And then all we have left now, though, is the hoplites over here. So we're going to shoot them to death. We're also going to bring our hoplites across to see what we can do. But... God damn, this has been a brutal battle, hasn't it, my friends? Well, I don't think it's enough to take the city, unfortunately. But it should make taking the city a little bit easier next turn, shall we say. 110 men, and most of those are missile troops. So maybe once we get those reinforcements, we'll be okay. Let's see. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That actually destroyed Gorton. Ah, <sighs> well... At least we don't need to worry about them for a little bit. Um, oh, well, that's that's incredibly terrible. <laughs> that, that is awful. That is really not good. I didn't think they had another army somewhere else, potentially. But, wow, I did not think about that. This guy's got doubtful courage now as well, which is not good. Not good, my friends, is it? Not good at all. I wonder if there are any mercenaries available anywhere. Let's have a look. Polyrenia. Let's see. Let's see. No. No mercenaries available. Ah, come on, bro. Come on. I love some mercenaries right now. Please. Well, let's go for Captain Tarkon. I think they will accept this as a drawout battle. And this should be a little bit easier. Um, because we have so few troops. But yeah, we shouldn't actually regicide them this time because they have Xenostratos over here. So that's at least comforting, let's be honest, guys. But there we go. Let's go. Well, here we go, guys, in the swing of things now, which is good. I'm going to bring these Akontistai around. I don't know what they're doing. Like, why are they trying to uh, get around the men? But let's bring the Akontistai around. Come on, boys. don't know why they're trying to attack our missile troops, but that's okay. Let's get our generals over this side, because they are looking like they're going to charge us, which is fine. That's no problem at all. Once these guys have been engaged, though, we will absolutely shred them with some javelins. Javelins? Javelins in the back. Let's go. There we go. Engaging the general now, and hopefully we can get rid of him. Kill him completely. That would be absolutely fantastic. These guys are still firing at the Cretan slingers. He runs. That's not okay. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's go. And our guys are fresh now, which is awesome. Well, here we go then, guys. The final charges of the battlefield. Let's rally the men. Let's see if we can break them on this charge. That'd be fantastic. They did obviously turn, but that is going to break them straight away. Let's see if we can go straight on to these guys. They're only shaken, though. Not stirred, of course. Uh, but they are wavering now. I think that we might be able to break them if we continue fighting a little bit. No. Looks like we're not going to be able to... That's fine. No problem. We're going to get the Akantistai to chase them down. Oh, glorious. Glorious. That should be Gorton dead now, guys. Fantastic. Turn four. We've taken out, what, three? No, sorry. Nosos, not Gorton. We've taken out two enemies, which is very good. Very good. Very good indeed. There we go, guys. Absolutely glorious. And there we go. Nosos is now ours. And we are, in fact, just going to... Well, we need... we Really, we need the money. So let's go for that. That has destroyed Nosos once and for all. We're going to leave behind the 26 Kaidonian archers. And this is what we uh, kept our ship for, guys. 
just in case something like this happens, uh, because... God damn it, we need to retrain these men, don't we? God damn it. And there goes our faction leader. So we have to be a little bit more careful than we've been being so far, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to get retrained, of course. We do have a diplomat in here. I wonder whether we could bribe a settlement or two. We don't really have enough money, though, do we? Let's be honest. Well, uh, as we know, guys, this is pretty much a declaration of war. <laughs> And there we go, straight away. <laughs> well, we might as well take our Sinnoh while we are here, guys, because uh, there's no one in it. These guys have actually decided to attack our settlement, so we might as well take our Sinnoh. It's nice and close by, and it's going to shore up this end of the island. Well, here we go, guys. Let's get into it ASAP. Let's try and push them off the town square if we can. Looks like they have gone for the bait, so let's speed this up. Let's see if we can push them off the town square. Come on, boys. Push them off it. Push them off it. In fact, you guys get there, and then we're going to engage them. And uh, let's see if we can. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Get off the... Uh, you have to go that way, apparently, to fight. <laughs> but that's okay. Looks like we have pushed them off the town square. So, shouldn't be too long before we are victorious. And there we go. We hardly lost any men, guys, which is really nice. 46. Not bad at all. Really not bad at all. And with Arsinoe, I think we're going to enslave because we don't want to leave any troops behind here. We do have this battle potentially to do, which doesn't look so easy, I'm not going to lie. Uh, a little bit annoying because I did want to get to Litos this turn, but I guess we're going to have to wait a turn. That shouldn't be too problematic. I mean, I really don't want to have to bother with these guys after we've killed this big army, but... You never know, guys. You never know. We are currently on what turn? Turn six. So we're not doing too bad. We've got half the island, pretty much. Uh, we said there were 12. What have we got? Four, five, six. Yeah, exactly half. So pretty darn good, guys. Pretty darn good. So let's go. Well, this is not good, let's be honest. <laughs> Well, as this Deforoi, we're getting a little bit pummeled by their slingers and archers and everything. So, um, we've gone for the cheeky old charge. Let's see whether that works or not. Let's come through with our men now. Let's see what we can do. Unfortunately, the Hippe is going to take a little bit of killing for us. But that should be okay. We are protected on the flanks. Let's go for a cheeky charge again. And, uh, yeah, I want you guys to fire at the Hippe, of course. And our generals are going to come through. Guys, could you, like, engage the Akontistai rather than fucking around? That would be nice. Remember, guys, they are rebels, so they will just have to be killed, and that's all. We don't need to uh, chase them down. We just need to rout them, and that is fine. Here we go, guys. This might be the route. Let's see. They are already wavering. They've just taken the morale shock of losing their general. So let's go for the charge and then get straight back out of there. Also going to bring you across to maybe deal with some of these slingers, etc. Because it's just very annoying chasing them down without light cavalry, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, maybe we'll be able to uh, to deal with them. But as usual, the Cretan Hoplites are just disengaging, taking no damage while they do so. Fantastic. That's what we like to see, guys. <laughs> well, time for the Akontistai to shine, guys. They have a perfect position here. So this should really shred the hoplites. There we go. Look at that. That's actually broken them straight away. Let's go for these guys as well. Let's see whether we can break them. That'll be no problem whatsoever. They are shaken. Looks like they are, again, disengaging. And there we go. Glorious victory, my friends. Let's go. So we did lose a few men. 217. Oh, not ideal, but that army is fully dead now. Fantastic. I'm thinking now, let's go for Gortina. We've got our spy in there, but as usual, <laughs> no luck with that one. <laughs> well, a bloodier battle than maybe expected, guys, but not too bad. 77, that is not bad at all. A pretty darn good result, if you ask me. Glorious. And I think we will also exterminate in Gortina. We're also going to take this money... Because there are some mercenaries now available here, which is absolutely glorious. So we are going to take some mercenaries. We're going to leave those. In fact, no, we'll take the slingers because that Akontistai should have enough movement. Let's get you in here too. Let's get those mercenaries there, guys. And I've got to... Hmm. 
think we'll go here and attack this army. That should bring in that army, and then we can siege down Lictos over here. No problem whatsoever. Glorious! So this army is not too good, guys, but it does have a Hetairoi and two generals, so... It's not going to be that easy, honestly. It's going to be a pretty brutal battle, I will say. But we're going to get rid of most of Litos's forces here. So let's well, The main go. plan is to get to them before they their reinforcements can get to them themselves. So we're going to try that out. I may send the light cavalry to go and deal with some of these boys. But yeah, I don't think that's uh, really that necessary, honestly. I'd rather them be here to mop up any troops that we rout. Here we go, guys. In for a charge. Their general has taken an absolute battering from our Javis, which is awesome. So I'm hoping we can break this Lytian Agali pretty darn quickly. There we go. Straight in there. Absolutely ruining them. So they're not... There we go. Broken straight away. Let's get into the general's bodyguard. They do have Hetairoi, though, as well. So we do have to be careful about that. Let's see if we can fire at the Hetairoi. Looks like the Hetairoi managed to get a charge off. So we're going to get out of that for now. I do not want to lose my cavalry. Because remember, we've got a second army to deal with here. I'm hoping these guys will be able to fire at the Hetairoi pretty effectively. So there we go. Let's go. Looks like the Hetairoi themselves are going for a charge. Glorious. Well, we shall take that as an invitation to charge them in the arse. Let's go, men. Oh, there's their general. I mean, he's died, so I don't know what he's doing right now, but... Oh, well. Let's go. Charge them in the arse, boys. There we go. Fantastic. They're taking a serious amount of damage, but so are we. Let's just hope that we can win this out. Hetairoi are fantastic units, of course. There we go. There's only 14 of them left. Stop firing at your own men now, guys. That would be good. Uh, we've got Cretian Slingers. You guys need to come around and deal with them. Glorious. Fantastic. This has been pretty darn brutal, I've got to say. Well, uh, let's uh, finish them off and send these guys to chase after them. We will turn to face the new enemy coming from the other way. Well, I think it's going to be tough killing their general's bodyguard, seeing as he has 45 men. It's quite a lot there, isn't it? But... Um, I think we'll still be okay. We've just got to try and use our hoplites against him. Whether we can or not, though, I don't know. We're going to have to just try and hold these Cretan hoplites for a little bit while we do this. Might even flank them with the Acontisti. Uh, and I'm trying to get my generals back to full health, but uh, full stamina. But unlikely that that's going to happen, isn't it, guys? Well, there we go. Generals charged in, which is pretty nice for us. Let's see whether we can take them out. Hopefully, these guys have another general somewhere. I'm assuming they will do by this point, but you never know, do you guys? You never know. You never know. Bit annoying if they don't, but that's okay. Not a problem at all. And the general is down to seven men now. Glorious. We have absolutely shredded him. Well, there we go, guys. I don't think Pergeon will be fully destroyed, but let's just hope that, of course, they haven't been destroyed as a faction. That would be... Rather annoying again, wouldn't it? <laughs> and for fuck's sake. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it does give us time to take everything at our leisure, which... Yeah. <laughs> That's very annoying. Very, very annoying. 100% to get in there. Fantastic. Let's go for that. Glorious. I don't know how he, whether he's going to be able to open the gates. Let's see... More mercenaries, nothing there. And no, he failed to open the gates. Thank you. <laughs> Any mercenaries available here as well? No, none at all. None at all. Great. Well, there goes Lictos, guys. Not exactly a very tough battle. Look at that. 24 deaths for us. Fantastic, my friends. Fantastic. Uh, and I think, again, let's exterminate. We need the money from here. So let's pop that in there as well. We have been destroying military buildings as and when we need them, guys, for mercenaries. So that's been pretty good. Now, I think Arcades over here may decide to come out of the city and the Greeks are sieging down Leto over here, which is going to be good for us because that's going to reduce their army down on the siege because remember, they auto-resolve uh, their sieges, guys, so they're going to get punished 
for that quite significantly, which uh, should be pretty good for us. So let's go on to Arcades. What turn are we on now? We are on turn eight. So if we're really pushing, we might be done by turn 12, guys. It depends on a couple of things, of course, but... Uh, Let's see, let's see. Well, it seems like the AI is not coming to play, guys. So we're going to jump on this boat. And I'm going to drop them off over here. First, though, let's get our spy over there just to check what they have. We don't want to do anything crazily stupid. Although, I don't mind doing something stupid every once in a while. Let's try and pop them off there. There we go. Straight on to Itanos. Going to be a little bit annoying for the Ptolemies, of course, but they don't have many men here. So that's fantastic for us. Going to pop the ship back in there, and we'll come back for these settlements in a little bit. When, uh, you know, um, when the Greeks have sieged that down, and just finish them off over there. What turn are we on? We are on turn 10, so we have reached the 10 turn number, guys. The 10 turn number. And I forgot about the spy, so I have put him in and then re-sieged. And he did actually open the gates for once. Fantastic. Once again, the trap is in motion, my friends. So the uh, general's bodyguard is on the way. We're going to engage them and hopefully surround them here. So let's do that. Make sure we surround them. We're also trying to get these guys off the town square. I don't think they will do, though, until this guy is dead. So... Just going to stop these guys from firing for a second and let's see what happens. Well, there we go, guys. We have drawn them off the town square, kind of. It's not fantastic, but I'm hoping if we can get behind them here, we should be able to push them off the square. So let's get set up. There we go, guys. Let's go there and we'll try and push them off the square. And that should hopefully work. Let's see. Well, there we go, guys. We had to grind them off the square. So that's why we lost... So many men, but we still have a pretty decent army, so we're doing pretty good, I've got to say. And this time, let's enslave. We don't need too much money anymore because we're going to be destroying that. And I am thinking that we don't go for the next settlement quite yet. I mean, we do have a little bit of movement points, but not too much. But I'm thinking we just chill here for a turn. And just wait for the Greeks. Do they have? They have rams. So they should want to attack Lato now, which will be very helpful to us. So let's go for that one. And the GCS did take Lato, which is pretty darn good. We're going to stick our spy in there. But honestly, I'm not so sure about going for the assault. But he doesn't. He didn't even open the gates anyway, because I'm hoping this army is going to come. And try and relieve the siege here. That would be fantastic. But let's see, guys. Well, unfortunately, the GTS did not take our offer. So, uh, yeah, they're going to lose Herapitna. But a bit annoying because I would have liked to have destroyed most of this army too. And that would have been really helpful for speeding this all up for these last three settlements. Well, that was relatively easy, guys. We only lost 11 men. Pretty nice. Should now have a decent enough army to take the last two settlements. Let's see. Well, guys, it has come to this. So we have this final settlement of Lato over here. And also Arcades, the last two settlements on Crete that are not under our control. I have seen them down here with Arcades, at Arcades, basically to try and force the drawout battle. But, um... Whether we can beat that in a draw-out battle is a different question. There were no mercenaries available. So what we're going to do, we are going to attack into this settlement. It is predominantly slingers and peltasts. So we're going to attack and see what happens. And then we're going to join up this army with Focas of Tyras so that we can finally take this settlement down next turn. Let's go. Well, we have breached the gate, guys, but uh, we are making another breach to try and take us through. We were getting shredded by those Cretan Slingers a little bit, which is uh, a little bit scary. So I think they are AP, aren't they, those Cretan Slingers? So that's not ideal. But if we can just hold these guys here, all they've got left over there is like some Zistaphoroi, a general, and Greek Peltas. So I don't think it's going to be too problematic. Let's see. 
Well, we're getting shredded a little bit by these Cretan hoplites, so we are going to uh, fire some missiles into them. Oh, hello. Did not see you guys, Cretan slingers over here, but we should be able to break them pretty darn quickly. And then we just have some Peltas, really, to deal with. But this is quite a brutal battle, I feel like, over here. But hopefully those javelins are going to help. I mean, they're not the most, the best place javelins because they're going straight into them. But it should hopefully work. But unfortunately, our guys are breaking now. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. Well, let's try now to surround the Peltas and the Hoplites. That should really help us out in the long run here. Um, and then we can go for that Zistaphoroi, I feel like. So let's see whether we can go for them and get rid of them. There's only 58. We have pretty much nearly the same amount in General's Bodyguard. So that is not a problem at all. Well, let's kill these Cretan hoplites. Well, here we go. Charging into the back of these Greek Peltas. That should really help to break them. If we can kill all of these, that's going to be so helpful to us in the long run. The Cretan hoplites uh, are still, still holding on, which is pretty darn brutal, honestly. I mean, this army is very, very damaged at this point now. Um... So, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know how much they're going to be able to help out later down the line, but uh, better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. Well, here come our hoplites, the very few of them that have survived. Hopefully, they shouldn't have too much of an issue against the Greek Peltas. We are fighting on the town square, which is a little bit terrible, but uh, we've got no ammunition to draw them off here now, so... That's a little bit annoying, but it's okay. I think we're still going to win. But, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a bit harder than we expected. Look at our army now. Jesus Christ. Those uh, Cretan hoplites were something else, guys, weren't they? They were something else. There we go, guys. With the help of the generals, we managed to finish them off. But, wow, that was incredibly brutal. So, um, yeah, it's going to be fun fighting the next battle. <laughs> Definitely. Let's see how we get on, guys. And it has come to this, my friends. They have sallied out. They think that they are hard enough. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. We do have four generals, guys. So that's going to be very, very useful. I mean, the rest of our army is pretty darn destroyed. Those three Cretan hoplites are going to be very difficult to kill. So going to have to play this very carefully indeed. Let's see. It's a night battle as well. Come on, AI. But anyway, let's get going, guys. And Sally Out Battles never pause. Always a little bit weird when it does that. But uh, yeah, it just is the way the game works, isn't it, my friends? Um, we're going to stand in front of... Oh, my God. We're going to stand in front of the Rams uh, so that basically it takes them a little bit of time to, uh, uh, to get to us. They can't just completely savage us. And what I'm going to do is try to use these guys... Better and more effectively than I normally do. Uh, General-wise, we're going to keep you here. You guys are going to get there. And let's see. What are they going to send out first? Looks like some Cretan hoplites. Great. Well, the Cretans have made it to the line. But look at this. Acontisti, Cretan archers, all that jazz, all chilling over here. I'm going to try and get these guys over this way to deal with the Prodromoi. But let's get a charge off on these boys. Let's see whether we can get a decent charge. And maybe route a couple of them before these Cretans come in. Now let's get out. Out, out, out. Looks like the Progemoy want to party. Come on, boys. Get out, please. Would be helpful. Would be helpful if you fucking moved. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Sometimes. Why do they just stand there? It just makes no sense. Look at them. Fucking idiots, bro. Honestly. Sometimes, bro. <laughs> Let's go, though. We do have a nice little jump on them, I would say. We need to maybe break a unit, and then we'll be good. So, uh, yeah, let's try that. Let's also keep on uh, hammering them with our javies. That'll be excellent. Let's kill this Progemoy. It should be nice and easy. We've got our general in here. Wavering, wavering away, wavering away. They've got no... Okay, that's their general. Deaded straight away. Nice. That's what we like to see. Let's get our generals over here. They are very damaged at this point. Very damaged. But now that we have these guys all on that side, let's get our Akontistai around the sides to fire into them. And let's also charge. Let's also charge this Akontistai. Their general dying has really helped us out here. 
That is glorious. Our lines are not going to hold forever, guys, because they are so unbelievably weak now. <gasps> These guys are broke. These guys are broke. Let's go. Let's go. If we can get inside the city and just wait out the timer, that'll be amazing. So let's get around. You guys should now be on fire at will. Let's fire into there. Uh, and then this also should be a good spot for us. In fact, we should maybe try and move slightly further around and get some kills off. Here we go. Through the gates, guys. Through the gates, Cav. Let's go. I'm not bothered about their hoplites anymore. Hopefully, we can hold them for long enough. There we go, guys. There we go. Straight in there. Straight in there. Shoot the Cretan hoplites. Shoot them all. Shoot them all. Let's go. Now we want to get into those Cretan slingers. Let's go, boys. Nice and juicy. Let's go. Very nice indeed. How are these Javis doing? Guys, fire. Firing would be nice. There we go. They've turned around, though, which, again, is very annoying. Looks like they're routed. They're, they're wavering, actually. They don't, like, they don't like taking the jabbies to the face. Glorious. That's what we like to see. Let's get on the town square, then, and absolutely mosh these guys. Absolutely mosh them. Here we go. Glorious. 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 Let's go. Oh, and one of them's routing already. There we go. Three of them are routing. Ha-ha. Ha-ha! Nice! Nice, men. Nice. You guys should now be firing at these boys. Everyone else is routing. We've taken this gate, though, so they shouldn't be able to get through there. Come on, guys. Get going. <laughs> Glorious. Well, I think that is a victory, my friends. And we didn't even take too many losses doing it. Well, it seems there's still some Cretan hoplites left. It looks like they came back from routing, which is a little bit rubbish for us. But, um... It's fine. We've got our guys to hold them for now. You guys can deal with them. That's fine. And we're just going to kill anyone coming into the city. And then all we need to do is wait for a minute and 54. And we shall be good, guys. We shall be good. Come on, guys. That's what it's all about. Fantastic. Crete is united. Come on. And we did that pretty quickly on very hard, very hard extreme mode. Glorious victory. We didn't even lose that many men. What a fantastic battle to end on. Oh, it's done, guys. It is done. Well, there we go. Let's enslave. Glorious, glorious Crete is now ours. Fantastic. Let's accept that adoption. Another guy in the army. <laughs> fantastic, guys. Fantastic. We're now making 5,000 a turn. We have unified all of Crete. Now, let's see how many turns we did it in. What does this say? This says seven. So, if we go to load game, turn 13, guys. So, we did it in under 15 turns. That is very nice indeed. 13 turns on very hard, very hard extreme mode. I honestly feel like we could do this in 10 turns if we hadn't have accidentally regicided those two factions. Um, so I reckon we can go for this again, guys. And if you want to see that, if we get to 150 likes on this video, guys, we will go for under 10 turns doing this challenge with a different faction, of course. We'll try a slightly different faction. But fantastic. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.